Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta, Ooh, and I love talking about perfumes. 2020 and 2021 were big years for perfume. A lot of people got into perfume. I mean, every, there's a lot of different hypotheses about it. Personally, I think maybe a little sensory deprivation, but in any case, a lot of people are into perfume and some are just embarking on their journey or they're somewhere in the beginning of it. Most people start out with designer and you can kind of hit a wall pretty fast because there's only so many designer fragrances. It's a pretty finite list. So people start looking into niche because oh, it's like going through, through a wormhole. Like it's this big, wide, vast, infinite world of fragrances once you kind of go through that wormhole. But it can be really overwhelming so I wanted to do a video on some of the brands and perfumes that are really good for people first into niche. They are easier to find, more affordable, more mass appealing, really kind of um, a gentle transition for your nose because you can get really artistic in the niche world. Um, but as your nose evolves, they get more and more attractive to you. So this list is for some, if you're kind of new to niche, you're a little overwhelmed and you're wondering kind of where to start, which brands, what fragrances to look at. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. Welcome back. Okay, so for starters, um, let me start with a brand that's pretty popular with people new to niche and still one of my ride or die. I call it the Fab Four brands and it's Zerjoff. Zerjoff has a few different collections. Their Casamirati collection is shaped in a bottle like this. They have some for men, some for women. They're definitely more affordable. They're definitely mass appealing. Um, they're easier to find. You can even find them on discount sites. Um, you can find them for like between, you know, like 100 to 150 kind of range, which really isn't a big change coming from designer. One that I love for women is the Dama Bianca. It's a beautiful, light white floral vanilla musk that gives like this little marshmallow kind of feeling around you, but not like a sweet marshmallow, more of like this little, I should say, puff cloud around you. Skin scenty musk, like it's just a pretty uplifting fragrance that makes you smile and everyone seems to love and you can even wear it to work too because there's nothing offensive about this one like i said it makes everyone smile i love this one and when i wear it i tend to wear it for a week because i just can't get enough of it gosh in fact yeah she's so pretty sweet definitely more feminine there are also like the 1888 if you want like a masculine kind of spicy um, there's other fragrances there for that too, but it's a great place to go. The second collection by Zerjoff that's really popular, especially with people new to niche, is their, their V collection, which is V for velvet. This is actually um, like felt velvet kind of bottle, all different colors, Herba Pura, and even Herba Gold if you're in the UK, which is yellow. Great, great fruity fragrances. I find the collection... Um, there's a bunch in there that I really like, or if you're like kind of been into niche, looking around, but you still have more of a newer niche nose, really, really good. Uh, some of them like opera, I would not recommend. That's definitely like a heavy oud, very, goes into a very dark place. I don't recommend that one, but Muse, more leathery floral. Soprano in the purple bottle, absolutely love. Fruity, woody kind of, fragrance, but Herba Pura is duped a lot and there's a reason for it. It's a gorgeous, loud and bright, fruity, like a fruit bowl fragrance that will last you all day. Probably not work appropriate. It's loud. It's a beast, this one. Yeah, I love this one. And that typical Zerjoff DNA has this beautiful kind of vanilla musk undertone to all their fragrances that make them really super attractive and addictive. Yeah, love this. Another brand to look at that is really mass appealing and 
has a lot of really good sales because they come out with new collections and then their other collections go on sale like half off is House of Siage. Now the one for women that I absolutely love, and this was my first cupcake, is Cherry Garden. You can find these for half off or 40% off. And yes, it can be daunting $360, but they're really $180 if you just wait for a promo, getting one free or they're half off. They do a lot of really good bundles and specials, making them a lot more affordable than people think. Cherry Garden, this really was my favorite. It just gives this great hazy aura about you. And it's like this, like a cherry almond kind of. It's this like floral, cherry, almond, vanilla musk, but it's not this sharp cherry almond. It's more like this fluffy cloud around you and it has a cherry slightly, almonds use a lot for cherry. So I kind of think of that as like a scale of how cherry and how almond. It has a freshness to it too. So it's not that like syrupy cherry almond or sharp like, like cough syrup cherry almond. It's really more of a musky, cherry, vanilla, sweet, really yummy. Absolutely love this one. Um, there's quite a few in this. I've done a lot of videos on House of Siage. You can just check them out in the playlist to see more that you might be interested in, but I find this one really mass appealing. And again, their sales are a great way to get into niche. As for the men, they do have a collection. They have some great ones that they've sold out. But again, the men's are on these incredible sales. They've been 50% off. They've been, they've been teasing a new release and it's, the models are holding a men's bottle. So it sounds like they're gonna start rolling out some men's fragrances, which makes me happy because they're really good. I've recently started featuring some of these um, because I'm doing more men's, but this one, the number four, I really like number two also. Um, if you're into like designer Zaharoff signature ohm, you would like the number two, I'm thinking. This one has more of that shaving cream fresh kind of smell that I, I just, I think watching a man shave is sexy as heck. So something that smells like shaving cream, I know I probably shouldn't like tell people these weird things about me, but that kind of turns me on. Like I love that smell of sh shaving because it just reminds me, it's like so sexy watching a man like wield this sharp object and like, I don't know. Okay. I know. I know. But I also love these bottles because like, where is the knob? Push the button and that slides open. It's, it kind of reminds me of a Zippo a little bit, but it's just a classic fragrance. And at 50% off, these are incredible steals and you can get a niche fragrance and just not be cliche designer. And these are like a hundred and something, I think also. Another thing that I really like is clones can be okay. Like some of the clones are, some are a little watered down and have like an eau de toilette kind of feel to them. Um, some are really harsh. Like people go to Middle Eastern brands because they're super cheap. They're actually dupe houses. People don't realize they're just dupe houses, but they're very harsh and the opening is very brash and they're very loud. There's a little bit of synthetic to them too. Um, I happen to like Dapper. I've tried a bunch of all of them. If you follow my channel, you've seen me feature Dossier. I have done, um, Alexandria is another really good one. Don't like do it. I couldn't even feature them. I just, I don't like doing negative. I just don't like the negative videos, but I really, I heard they were good back in the day, but not anymore. But Dapper has been incredible and they have an incredible offering of all these niche expensive fragrances. And I have a lot of them in the original and in Dapper. And I've started buying Dappers just to see what a niche fragrance is like without having to blind buy over $300. And sometimes I've actually liked the Dapper better. I think I'm gonna do a Dapper video for you guys because there's a lot of people using them and they wanna know which ones are good and which ones are even better than the original. There's very few that I found that I didn't care for and I'll let you know which those are. But I mean, I have all the Parfums de Marley in this. They're spot on. I have the Creed Green Irish Green, Creed Green Irish Tweed, which is so expensive, but such a great fragrance. 
that it's another way to go and his always pack a punch and have good longevity even if the OG doesn't, his will. So it's a great way to try some niche for affordable. Use the discount codes and you can get them between $20 and $30 for these 30 mLs. I find 30 mLs is usually all I need. And he has an incredible selection and is always dropping new ones. Another one is Nishane 100 Silent Ways. This one is just oh, yummy. It's like whipped cream, vanilla, sweet, white floral. I think this is tuberose in here. This has a bunch of white floors. I love gardenia. It has tuberose in there. And jasmine, but the jasmine's not in Dalek. It's a beautiful white floral mixture with vanilla in this cream, like very lactonic, meaning milky. So it's like whipped cream, like there's dairy in here. It's And it's got some woodiness to kind of give that substance and longevity too. And this is a huge winner. I get a lot of compliments on this one. It's really well liked by people. Um, it's mass appealing while being unique niche. And you can find this also pretty affordable places because it's popular and it's been around. Another great house that I like is Mansara. Everyone knows Mansara Montel. They're sister companies and tend to have a fragrance in each house that is nearly identical to each other. It's kind of weird. I know. But they are affordable. You can find them like 80 to $120 kind of. So again, those designer prices, they come in, here's my 120 number that was in my head, 120 mLs. Um, again, affordable. They are beasts. Like these are beasts. But again, kind of like the Middle Eastern fragrances, they are intense. They're brash out the gate. Then they smooth out. They are more affordable. Um, there's something very synthetic about them, but there are some that I absolutely love and there is like the sea drop bois for men this one is roses Vigny. there is intense cafe there's some classics there that are really well liked by the masses this one gives you a big presence around you and it it's sweet vanilla musk roses um it's very um voluptuous around you. It's, it's a really yummy, satisfying fragrance. Absolutely love. But for similar kind of performance, but using more of naturals versus synthetics and sometimes synthetics, you know, when they use, obviously synthetics are used in everything, but sometimes there's like an overwhelming use of synthetics and you can kind of smell synthetic versus natural uh, less reactions for allergies also. But if you want something really intense like that and affordable is I really like Aaron Terrence Hughes. I just started jumping into his brand and I'm impressed. And he uses these 50 ml bottles, but even more impressive is he doesn't penalize you for buying smaller products. If you get the 10 ml, you get the same kind of product packaging and label along with atomizer spray quality. I love that. And he doesn't charge you more. He doesn't penalize you. So you're paying the same price for ML in your smaller, either sample decants, 10 ML, 50 ML. I love that. Who doesn't buy 100 ml just because you know you're getting more for your money? Even though you darn well know you are never gonna work your way through that 100 mLs. Like, you do it for the presentation and you do it to save money. Like I love so much and respect Aaron for that, that, you know, he just wants perfume lovers to smell good and to, and to use his perfumes. And I think that's brilliant. I really think that's brilliant. And I, I just give him so many accolades for that. He just came out with raw cherry, which is more of a fresh cherry. Like you can feel like fresh, real cherry versus that medicinal cherry kind of feel. His fragrances are always voluminous. Yeah, Legend, oops, got it all over me. Legend um, is your cliche, like citrus aromatic fragrance that will keep you fresh smelling, but it really lasts versus most in that profile don't. 
Maverick I really like if you like um, Prada L'Homme, you like that powdery fresh kind of thing. For those that do follow me, like Raja's Midsummer Dream is also a powdery fresh kind of men's fragrance. I really like Maverick and find it's actually even more unisex kind of. It doesn't, it's teeters a little bit masculine there and it's definitely loved by the men, but I think some women might actually like it as well, myself included. Uh, what do I have here? Oh, Gardenia Blanc used to be called Goddess. He changed it to Gardenia Blanc because so many men loved it as well. This is like overwhelmingly a favorite of mine so far. I have more coming. I'm trying to dive into this brand, but holy cow. It is a beautiful, sweet white floor. Okay, so it warms up a little bit, gets more sweet, and man, is it amazing. But again, he keeps his prices super reasonable. These are pretty much like $150 for the 50 ml, where yes, that's like 300 for 100 ml, but they last and they don't need a lot of sprays. They are beasts, but they are smooth beasts. They're not rough around the edges at all. And I just, I find them incredibly satisfying uh, and look forward to trying more. I'll tell you more as I, as I have some more coming in that I ordered. Let me say real quick that if you find my videos helpful, if you're enjoying this and you find my information good, please hit the subscribe button so that you are notified of more of them. Hit the notification bell so YouTube actually tells you. They're horrible at telling you, I'm telling you. They will not tell you. They'll tell you like every fourth video. And then you'll be like, how come I never saw this video? It's because you didn't hit the notification bell. Yeah, and hit the thumbs up. It just helps, it helps widen the net. More people will hear about me, just like you. Ding. Another brand to think about is Nabitus Perfumes. I featured them before with a giveaway. Um, I'll put that link down below where I think I told you about six fragrances from there. Well, they now have a discovery kit, which I think is so brilliant because they have so many fragrances. They have two kits. The red is the iconic, the black is the signature. The signature is more like daytime fragrances, fresher fragrances, whereas this is like the gourmand, the nighttime, sensual, sexy fragrances, more intense fragrances. Uh, don't underestimate this one because there's some really sweet, musky gourmands in here too that I'm in love with. They each have 15 in them. I love this box. So it's a magnetic closure, flips open, and in here, this is what delights my OCD heart like to no end. So one, they have a card welcoming you with a coupon code like, hello, I'm a shopper and I like discounts. Uh, this discount looks similar to what they had for Scent Explore, which is a really nice deal. And they have these cards, double-sided, beautiful lacquered cards, and they tell you everything you need to know. There's a picture of the bottle, there's the name, the perfumer, there is who was a collaboration with, and the top, middle, and base notes on each one, which I think is just brilliant. It's literally all the information that I wanna know and you go to look up, is brilliant. And gosh, and then inside, they have each of these. I love this part. So it's not a little dinky 2ML sprayer, it's not a dabber. It is an 8 ml atomizer filled with 5 ml so that they have the quality spray from an 8 ml, which gives you a better spray, which, I mean, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, I don't know if you can see that. That's a really good puff from a travel, from a tester. Like, this is from a discovery kit. I think this is brilliant of them. I think it's such a good deal. You get to try them all. You get 5 ml, which if you bought decant somewhere, that's pretty much what you're going to get. You can see I've like marked which ones I've tried already. I'm still working my way through here. There's a few that I'm really interested in, in addition to the ones I have. Um, Idola is that pink bottle people were comparing to Delina. Personally, it doesn't work on my skin. Delina opens very sour tart on my skin. And then after 20 minutes is smooth. This one kind of stays in that opening rhubarb tart kind of stage. It just doesn't work well on my skin. Uh, carte Blanche, total winner. 
The Key is a winter freshie for men that I really enjoyed. So you get all 15 in this one. So I get emailed to me the promos and they currently have a promo on these. These are normally 145 for, it's 15 times five. So you're getting 75 MLs for $145, but they have a promo going on. So if you get one, it's 50% off and only 72.50. If you get both, it's 65% off and they're only $55 each. So for $110, you get all 30 fragrances, five milliliters each of them, which to me is a lot. And five to 10 mLs frequently is all I need in a fragrance because I have so many and I enjoy trying so many. Um, I also kind of pinned, I know I have XO Brandy in this one. Um, I have, I turned them all over. I really enjoy Creme Imperial. It's a white bottle. Oof, I'm gonna have to go over that one. Uh, Intimus was better than I expected. I flagged that one too. Uh, I do have Absolutia is amazing. Soir Exclusive is amazing if you like a marshmallow kind of undertone with orange and coffee, kind of blended really nicely, but wrapped up in this marshmallow kind of fluffy feeling uh, to give it that kind of marshmallow texture, which is amazing. What else have I tried? The Embrace is a really good one I've covered before. Arcanum was in my first video. That's a really good um, spicy, cinnamon, masculine, rich. If you like Herod, um, if you like um, if you like Mancera red tobacco, that kind of type of spicy, deep, rich, syrupy kind of fragrance. There's some really good ones in here. And for $110 for both, I mean, that's a good deal. It's a really good deal. So I recommend that also. Navitus is a really good mass appealing fragrance house. Um, yes, I mean, they, they collaborated with a lot of creators. I think they did a really good job on a lot of those. Um, oddly, I'm really attracted to the ones that Buck came out with. Who knew I had similar taste, but I really like the ones that Big Beard Business, the ones that he collaborated for. So that's those. And in spirit of the warm weather we have again, we had a heat wave, 88 degrees. Then we dropped down to 32 degrees. We had hail and ice storms. I, I know, this is San Diego. We get hail storms here. I, I, it's a thing. I, I never experienced hail until I lived here. It's kind of weird. It's like sleet, but giant, like giant. Anyway, this one is your nice tropical scent. Um, it is by Rirana. Coconut Nanas by Rirana. I bought this at the end of the summer. Finally decided to try it. Ridiculously amazing if you like tropical scents. And by tropical, I mean fruit tropical. I don't mean suntan lotion because I can't stand those nauseating fragrances. I can't stand when it remotely goes into suntan lotion or suntan sunscreen. Like they're gross to me and they make me nauseous. But this is like coconut pineapple, pina colada fragrance, tropical, what you want tropical. And it's so uplifting. And I think this is, I want to say $110, maybe super reasonable by Rirana. Another great one. If you want to get into the variety of niche fragrances without breaking the bank, there really are so many in the same price range as designers. Another one is BDK, Passe Soir is a beautiful, sweet fragrance, mass appealing. Oh, and some woody in there, oh goodness. Yeah, there's quite a bit of woody in here, but it is sweet, it's sweetness from the patchouli. The big thing is quince in here, which not a lot of people know quince. I've never had quince the fruit myself, as many exotic fruits that I eat. Um, it's got the ginger in there too, but it's really a nice, sweet, bold fragrance. And you know, BDK is not, overly expensive either you can get these um i'm thinking like the 200 range or less um 
and they do promos too. So it's another great one. This one has amazing fragrances. Not too crazy for niche. This one, um, if you like Miss Dior kind of fragrances, they have the pink one. Uh, Hogri, uh, Bouquet de Hogri. That's a beautiful one. It's very soft, gentle. If you like, you know, a lot of the Miss Dior's, this, the, like the more recent kind of versions because they keep reformulating and changing it dramatically. It's very nice like that, a beautiful girly floral fragrance. Um, that's another good one. And the last one that I have for you is Tiziana Terenzi Kirke. I have done videos on Titian Terenzi uh, going over a lot of their fragrances. They're also very mass appealing, really great to jump into when you're new to niche. Kirka, I can't even tell you, mad compliments, men dying to know what I'm wearing so they can gift it to their wives, like mad compliments. It's a fruity fragrance, similar to Herba Pura. They start similar and then diverge as they dry down to something very different. Um, again, I've done videos on that, but yeah, this is a great fruity fragrance for girls. Totally girl, feminine energy, man magnet. I'm telling you, man magnet. Um, but those are my suggestions, men and women. If you're new to niche, place like, you know, the good brands that more accessible, um, a little more affordable and more mass appealing that, you know, they're not like these crazy wild fragrances that you're very likely going to find something you're going to like. I hope that helped you. I know perfumes have become really popular, so I really hope that helped. Uh, you know, I'm really good about reading the comments. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Mwah.